know what they're working on there, but something very important. Neutral. Right. Now, look at the controls here. Gonna jump in the Forerunner without cleaning or shoveling and see how she does. All right, to give, to give the vehicle a fighting chance, let's um, set the blower, the vent to the windshield. Put on the rear defogger. Give it a little temperature and a lot of fan. All right, let's wait a minute and then try the wipers. All right, it's been one minute. Let's try the rear wiper. All right, I'm gonna click it on, but I'll be watching it through the rear window. Here. All right, I think that did pretty good. Yeah, the lines you see, that's the wipers of the car behind us. Our mirror is clean. All right, let's try some of these windows. That didn't really work. All right, the uh, glass there is supposed to be heating from that rear and mirror. Well, I can't see, let's try this window. No, that's pretty bad. Okay. Let's try the wipers. How do we turn the wipers on? Just click them up one, right? Or click them down. Alright. Uh, that's a bit much. I should you should clean your wipe you should clean the snow before you run the wipers. That was probably a bad idea. Alright, if we open the door and look outside, you see the snow is piled like pretty high. So Let's try to drive through that. We'll first do two wheel drive. Like not even any four wheel modes. Four wheel is not engaged. There you can see, it's in the position. Not on the dashboard. Let's try two wheel drive, see if we can get out of the snow. can get out through that snow in two-wheel drive. A couple of weeks ago, I had a pickup. I actually had to drop off my son in Albany at college. And uh, it was like a blizzard that day. And we drove the whole trip, 172 miles, 370 or whatever it is, like 354, 344 back and forth. And it was snowing the entire time. And I had the, the forerunner in, four, in two-wheel drive the entire time. I only used four-wheel drive when we were actually on his campus. The whole trip we did in two-wheel drive. So I'm not recommending it, but Forerunner's pretty good in two-wheel drive even. Okay, I drove it into some snow and I cleaned off the wipers. So let's test the four-wheel drive. Getting a lot of snow in my vehicle. Going in and out. All right, so let's do it. Snow everywhere. All right, let's, uh, let's do a little four wheel high. All right, so there it is. We gotta go a little bit for it to be like engaged. All right, let's drive a little four wheel high. All right, I'm driving out of the snow. All right, so that's fine. We'll drive a little in four wheel high and then maybe we'll test the four wheel low. Lowered those blowers so we can hear what we're doing in here. All right, let's find a spot to test the four wheel low. Navigation is warning me. You see that red? It's like telling me something about this road. Actually, this road's the best road I've driven on all day. It's just they have, probably have the most data for this road. That's why it's showing red on the navigate. Turn it on the camera for a second. So you can hear the slush as it goes under the tires. Let me hit some. You hear that? Most cars, they brag about how they keep the, the ground noise from the car. In the 4Runner, if you look at the, 
passenger side rear tire, there's a spot where the other three tires, they're like sealed, like with like mud flap guard type material. And this one, there's an open spot on the back rear tire. And that open spot has like a square channel. It's, and it goes from the top to the bottom. It's almost like a musical instrument. Basically, <laughs> forerunner drivers, they want to hear the gravel, they want to hear the snow, they want to hear what's going on, and forerunner obliges. Well, I turned down the wrong road. This road is basically closed. It's got snow plows everywhere. Let's see, something serious going on here. It's a tow truck and a garbage truck, and then the snow plows like blocking for them. So I picked the wrong road to go down. Uh, let's see if we can get through here. Yeah, I don't know what they're working on there, but something, that garbage truck didn't last. Okay, let's keep driving down. We got a snow plow now blocking for us. Not that I really want that, but we got it. Cool shot of some snow trees here. I'm keeping it at 20, just, you know, I'm in the four wheel drive, even if it's four wheel high, figure keep it nice and slow. All right, this school is closed today, so I'm pulling over into the snow. Uh, so we're gonna shift it to four wheel low, just uh, give it a shot. All right, so read the map here. All right, these are Tinker, these are Ranger shift knobs from Tinker Design, if you're curious. Uh, all right, so to go kind of right and up. Oh, I have to put it in neutral first. Okay. Very important. Neutral. And right. up. Now, look at the controls here. It thinks you were going to do off-wheel driving. So it's like setting this like, well, we're perfectly level now, but we could be not. Traction control off, four wheel drive on. It says over here, four wheel low, pre-collision detection off. That's all the stuff that happens. I suppose I could try one of these controls. Let's try it. Uh, so let's shift it back to drive and let's put this crawl control on uh, and let's see what happens. Let's see if it drives itself here. Should I set this to snow? Um, I think it's like kind of light snow. Uh, I'm not gonna set that. It's showing up here. Apparently it is on. So if it's on, how come it didn't light up? Maybe it just lights up while it's working. All right, I took my foot off the brake. So this thing is now crawling. Uh, my foot's not on the, the gas. And this thing is crawling. <laughs> I guess that's how it crawls, very slowly. Four wheel low, crawl control speed two. All right, uh, setting, I don't know what's the setting. Let's see if we can increase it. All right, so now it's crawl control three. Was I supposed to go in neutral? It made quite a sound when I spun that dial. So I spun that to the M and now there's three in the crawl control and I'm not driving. It's just crawling on its own. There you go. All right, I think we've we've satisfied our itch for using these controls. I tell you, it's pretty crazy that you like, don't use your feet. <laughs> the thing just, uh, it's like cruise control for four low. I'm actually gonna take it off uh, and just drive normal, but it was a good test. It's not really that much snow. So when you spin this knob, you see this light change and you see these different pictures. And if you're looking at the dashboard, you see multi-terrain select rock, mogul, loose rock, sand. So you're kind of adjusting for those. There's a plow up ahead. I probably should get out of this street. 